For your drafting project, there's some tools you need to acquire or put together before you start it. Um, what I have laid out here, I just have my own little mini drafting area that I'm going to work on. So you'll need some sort of a flat surface to work on. That's your first thing. You'll need um, 11 by 17 inch paper. Okay, so a uh, little um, your printer paper like this will not work. It's too small. This is an eight and a half by 11. What you need is the 11 by 17. So um, what I have on my drafting board here is I have a piece of 11 by 17 laid out. I have a little bit of masking tape. I put a very tiny piece right in the very corner of every piece of uh, every corner of my 11 by 17 piece of paper to secure it to the board so it does not move okay um, you'll need your architect scale we talked about this make sure you get the proper architect scale you'll know it because it will have the inch marks as far as um, uh, a standard uh, 16 divided by 16 uh, inch or 16 um, 1 16th of an inch divisions for that but you can also see that every side has a fraction. That tells me that the fraction is uh, either one eighth, three quarter. If I flip it around here, I've got one and a half. This is an architect scale. If you see decimal points or anything like that, you'll know that this is a metric scale or it may be an engineer's scale. Um, and we're not doing engineering here. We're doing drafting uh, in the sense of architectural type drafting, but we're doing it for the theater. Um, our project is an architectural drafting project for your room. Um, additionally, you will need a tape measure. I have just uh, my standard tape measure I use in the shop. Um, you can have a small one, 12 foot tape measure or larger is perfect. Um, I recommend finding some sort of a straight edge. I have two that I'm using. I'm, I have a smaller little metal straight edge here as well as a yardstick here it's a metal yardstick that I'm using for going uh, drawing lines across the entire page uh, and lastly you'll really need is a pencil you need a nice sharp pencil to work your whole project in okay alternatively if you want you can also get things like uh, triangles this is a clear acrylic triangle that will help me keep things nice and square or if you have a, a framing square or a small framing square that you can use too, that'll help keep everything nice and crisp and sharp square. Um, you can do it using what's called a three, four, five triangle. This is where you measure three inches one direction, four inches another direction, and, and, and there needs to be a five inch diagonal uh, hypotenuse between those two marks that'll definitely give you a nice square mark too that's another alternative way to make a uh, right triangle for the corners of your room all right so 11 by 17 paper some uh, scratch paper always keep that on hand I just have some printer paper I'm going to keep on hand to keep from smudging as I work I'll sometimes lay this down as I put my hand and work out here so that I don't make marks across my page that's also to make adjustments. I can make notations and things like that. Um, I've got my architect scale, my pencil, my straight edges, some masking tape, and my tape measure. The only other thing I would say is make sure that you have a notebook in order to take down all your measurements as you're collecting your data for this project. All right, and that is the first part of getting this going.